One, two, three. Hey guys, it's Wendy, AKA Kitty Street, and my mom. And we have a Timu haul for you. And it's right before Halloween. I have a little bit of Halloween decorations. My voice is still going in and out. Hopefully as we talk more and more, it'll get better and better. I have my water, I have some cough drops. We're gonna get this done. Anything you wanna say? All right, so this is one package and we have a second package over here. So it's gonna be two orders in one haul. So let's get going. I'm just gonna crack it open. Um, we do have an update. Do you have an update on that ring? Remember the ring that you said you didn't get? Is it supposed to be in this one? It's supposed to be, but okay. there's also a hole in that bag. So if you watched my last haul with mom in it, <clears throat> she had a whole order. Guys, I'm so sorry about my voice. Um, that had a ring and she's had it in three orders now, right? This is the third order. The first order, it didn't come. She, did you get a refund? Or did you no. just exchange it or what? Or it you was just out, of, out of stock the first order. And the second time she reordered it and it didn't come. And now this is the third time and she even took a picture. I, I, did I cut it? Yeah, you cut it right where the hole was. There was a hole right here, and I could already picture. cut it. But she took a picture of it to show them, and we're like trying to find out about this ring. And maybe it's going to be in here, maybe it's not. So maybe there'll be a mystery ring, we shall see. Okay, so I'm just going to start pulling things out. I'm going to talk, because she still wants to show her prices from her iPad. So bear with me, guys. Um, I do have a couple of things on, like to celebrate um, Halloween. I got my little Haunted Mansion um, t-shirt on. My mom's got her um, representing Boo, and we're gonna jump right on into it, okay? So first thing, right off the bat, is this. What is this? Oh, it looks like a bunch of socks. Oh, oh yeah. okay. That's supposed to be four pairs of mustard color socks for $3.99. Gray, and guys, these are really, do you want says winter, them? It says winter socks. These are really, really thick. Let me see what the inside looks like. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got that um, fuzzy stuff in there. So it has to be really, really cold if I wear these because I'll get hot real fast. How much did you pay for these? $3.99. So for four pairs of socks, nice socks, $3.99. They're real cushiony. Now, did you get a price reduction on this or anything? Uh, um, a couple of things, not on that. I can't remember which ones. So I have socks in my cart, but it's like I keep getting everything else, so I don't um, buy the socks, but now that it's starting to get cold, I need to get them. Okay, what's next? So we got this little box right here that I can't hold on to. Um, I think that's a repeat buy. That should be that massager oh. thing, but it's in green this time. Okay, I had this in my cart too, and I've been waiting to get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is another one to demonstrate, and how much was it? Uh, $3.87. Because I think the one I got in my cart is like $4. Well, they go up and down, but okay. I've never seen it really any cheaper than the $3.87. And it rolls around, and, and I bought it for this right here. I don't want that. But I saw somebody else with the, one of these. There's a hole right here. Show it to me. There's a hole right here in the bottom <clears throat> that you're supposed to put oils in, essential oils or anything, and then it just rolls on the ball. Are you kidding me? No, Wait, I, didn't, I didn't even does know it, that. Does it, um, un... No, it so, doesn't come out. You have to just... So how does the oil stay in there? Who told you that? Is that no, true? You just put a drop or two in it. And but how it would just, it stay? It don't. It rolls onto the ball. Oh! And then the ball rolls out. <laughs> I learned something new. Every time I do a haul with my mom, I've, I've got a blue one and a purple one in my cart. Yeah, I've got but I ordered so much and I that I... Pick one. To work to have. so um, I'm definitely definitely getting this one I think she said 389 because the one in my card is I know over four dollars um, and I didn't get it this time because I ordered a bunch of other stuff and I will be bringing my haul hopefully because it was all over the place so that was a nice little deal I like that repeat buy okay so you know that's good if you buy it again okay what is this <laughs> oh there should be two of those it's a utensil holder yeah there is another one there go ahead you can take it it's your haul <laughs> Talk as much as she wants to because you know my voice. So yeah, that's a little bit, little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. So what is it? A utensil holder. I feel like it's Christmas time. Kitchen utensils. Oh my gosh. Okay. Kitchen. I like the color. Um, how much did you pay for it? And there is another one down here because I see it. I really can I see it. Three fifty nine. 
$3.59. And look at the design on that. I mean, come on. And I am sitting a little bit further back because we're doing this up in my kitchen and not down in my, my basement area. Um, let us know if you like it better. Um, everybody used to ask me, why do you sit so close um, to the camera? Well, when I do it down in the basement, there's just one table and one light. So here we go. And guys, thank you so much for um, coming out and watching this TV wall um, and handling my voice and everything. I feel some type of way, but I wanted to get it done. We needed to get it out of here for you guys. Okay, next is, um, I don't have a clue. Um, it's some little gadget you gotta put together. You love to give these little things, take it away. Um, and um, it's put pieces together and make little thing. shelves and things. I love it, I love it, I love it. The kitchen I don't think I bought one thing I had to really put together yet. I think this has to be torn. So yeah, let us know guys what you're doing for um, Halloween as we're opening up this package. And um, just let me know if you're doing any parties or anything like that. And we're gonna try to um, do another little um, thing on Tuesday, the day of Halloween. I'll put something together. I know that I'm going to do my Oreo pie. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put it in this one. So if you're watching and you just are interested in what the haul is all about, that'll be in the first part. Um, but stay tuned. I believe I'm going to try to put my recipe, at least get that in um, and link it to this video. And then the one coming out um, on Tuesday day of Halloween, my hopes if my voice will stay with me, um, will be like a Timu Tuesday. And we'll talk about um, some things like that. And I'll show you some decorations. I just didn't want to do too much in this particular video. Okay, so what is this thing you're putting together over here? Because I'm curious now. Is it like a soap dish? Yeah. What is it? Okay. This goes on top. And these sponge and thing goes down here. Yeah, yeah kind of put it up okay. somewhere. Because I didn't, I didn't pull, pull it down. Bit, so. That's pretty cool. I never see these kind of things. I don't even, they don't even come through my cart. And unless you're specifically okay. looking for things... Um, and when I watch other people's hauls, I don't see their things either There's until I go searching thing. for them. That's a little drain. Now, how much was that? It was a dollar and 79 cents. But you put your little sponge there and you hang your dish rag across the top right here. Ingenious. Let me see it. So, so see I it. love the way you said it has like this little thing on the bottom. Is that for the, the soap film? The drain. Yeah, the drain. Oh my gosh. Okay, you don't put soap in it. You just put your sponge there or, or whatever. You and it's pretty in. sturdy. Okay. Okay. I think it's I mean, pretty. I may or may not use it for that. I mean, well, I, like I said, I, I get ideas and then I put it in my cart. I did um, <clears throat> want to do an update also on that spot, that um, cleaner thing you got on our last haul because nobody and their mama could get it for $2 and some change. It was like $13 a month when I looked at it. And did you not say, you know, the one with the little it's brushes and all that dust that I got in here? They, yeah, I looked it back up on my order and where you says you can order again, but it says discontinued. So. Now it's discontinued, but I mean, it was like $13. And um, did you ever use it yet? Okay. Well, I did try to use it once. <laughs> and you're like me, I order, order, order. And I'm like, when am I going to ever get to use this stuff? People, we just don't have enough time in the day. Okay, what is this right here? This looks like something. The, um, the carpal tunnel gloves. Okay, can I look at one of them while you look at one of them? Yeah. Does this actually, um, you know, I might need this for my job because the way I'm always on my computer. Da -da 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 -da. I used to wear the little wrist brace a lot and the wrist brace helps, so I'm not sure about well, it. Is, it is super tight. Is that how it's supposed to be to help? Yes. Probably give it some kind of grip right there. Yeah, I mean, sometimes just any kind of pressure on the carpal tunnel. Okay, well, I put my hands on it. But they're clean because I just washed them before I came over here and you saw me do it. So how much were those? And did they come in different colors? I don't think so. They may have. I'm not sure. It was $1.78. So that's, you know, that's really good. So for $1.78, for, it's, it's good material. If it's nothing more than just to try, because um, it did feel, like on mine, it feel pretty straight, pretty gripped on yours. Okay, great. There's a little package. Right? Okay, what else? What else? What else? Okay, so let me pull something from the side here. Okay, yeah. Oh, I know what this is, and I was waiting. Um, Two of those. Here, you can open it up. I'm, I'm going to hand it to you. It's your, your stuff. Um, I'm waiting <clears throat> for her to get this before I ordered it. Um, we saw this. Who, who did we say we saw this? The um, Or did you see it? I told you about somebody. Somebody oh. out there in the YouTube universe hauled this. And I said, oh, I've got to have it, but I don't know if I want it. And so I well, said, mom, you won't buy it. 
and let me see what it looks like. And here it is. So it goes on the stove and it has, oh. let's have magnets right there. You can see the magnets. Yeah, you can see them. Part. I'll see you on the camera. Okay. It has that. That's what I bought this for. I believe this is going to be too big. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Don't you hate that? Well, let me but see. I can it. still can use I this. It? But I wanted one because I have a lot of mini spackles. Like you get, well, Timu has some and Dorothy has some. I wish that it would just had another stuff. little link to a doll like that because I'm looking at my stove behind the camera and I just need like about that much more. Or maybe I'd have to have two of these. You can so, buy the longer one, but the longer one was more and it came two inches over my stove thing and it was more than two of those together. Is your stove a little bit shorter than mine maybe? Or are they about the same? I don't know, but it has some measurements that those two add up to like maybe 28 inches, which is about covers the top of my stove. And how much did you pay for this again? I like, like it. They were five ninety four each. I'm going to say something. I have this cup here that I got off the Dollar Tree. Okay, okay, so it's about the size of a random cup, okay? So that's why I wanted to judge it's it. for the shelf. So I'm, gonna, so not I'm definitely going to get this. I'm already making me an order. I'm going to get this. How much was it again? Eight something? Five ninety four. Oh, okay. So I've got to see, but but you can get a longer one for you know. More. Somebody jump on right quick and see, see if this is still five ninety four. Um, we're gonna put the description, you know, the the links in the description box, so you should be able to see it if you don't already it's have real it. Heavy. Five dollars, and it has that magnet thing. Magnus. See, I didn't want anything that's gonna slip and slide on the back of my stove because that will irritate me. And it but has the back, so nothing slide off the back of it. I like it for five bucks. But I wanted to put if we one can get these. it for five dollars, right? In each on each one of them. Um, that those, other one is down here. I can wait and pull it out and put those mini utensils I have in it. But I can use this for the other. But these are really cute. Um, I would like to have one for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it matches my walls. <laughs> it does. I love gray. Oh, I love doing things with my mom. I'm so uh, happy to do this team <laughs> haul. I have been waiting for my voice to get a little bit better because, guys, if you would have heard me even two days ago. Oh my gosh, if I would have tried to even attempt this, you would have laughed. You wouldn't even know. And right now, I sound like a frog's in my throat. Oh. So, anyway, um, getting back to the baggie here. Okay, did you have two of them? Yeah, I, I wanted to go all the way across my stove. Okay, well, that's that's what I meant. Two I'm of looking them. at the stove. I'm on, I want to get up and go do it right now while we're talking about it. We don't have time. Okay, okay, so let me show them on camera. Hold that in. Hold this up. I mean, take that. Yeah. I, I tried to measure them and I don't, it would fit. Uh, we'll have to but see. But the one piece was a little bit longer than the two of these. And both of them are $5. Yeah. $5 if it doesn't work, um, I would love this for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're good and strong. I love them, Mom. They're firm and strong. Okay. What's the next? What's next? Whoops. Did, did you know this? Is that was, my ring? No. This was already open. It came right it came right on out of the package right there. And it looks like a little um oh I know what this is. You tell me what it was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I feel like I'm so far away. I'm usually like right in the camera. And that was ninety seven cents. Ninety seven cents. Tell them probably. what it's about, Mama. So and it came right on out of the bag. So be careful when you're opening up your stuff because it literally was too sharp to put a little hole right there and came right on out. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to do surgery on my callus on my foot. <laughs> and that's what it's for. It's, and it's sharp. That it's booger's called, sharp. I know, and I may be afraid to use it for that. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to cut my skin up. But uh, it has a little yeah, make sure serrated somebody, side. Make sure there. somebody's around side. when you well, start not, messing with it. I'm not going to. Yeah. All I need is to come out. I'm bleeding that in the it's, hospital. It's, it's a foot scraper. But, yeah, I won't get too carried away with it. I mean, I could get a nice little knife if nothing else. Okay. Well, um, there's a little packaging <laughs> if you want to stick it back in that little hole and wrap it around it. Okay. Now, what is this little gadget? Let me see. I'm going to show everybody. It's real tiny. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. One thing that draws me to Timu, and this is me personally, are these little things like this. And I don't know how much you paid for it. I don't even know what it is, but I'm so intrigued. It's 89 cents. All right. 89 cents. Okay. You can open it up. It's yours. But I'm like, I love... I went through, I have a whole back bucket of my Timu gadgets that I had, my 50 cent challenge, my 25 cent challenge, and they, they're just sitting there, and I have not been able to use any of it because I just had it sitting in a bag, but I'm working on that, guys, and I'm going to try to get you some videos. Love, love, love it all. I've been using them. Okay, I got something like that, but mine didn't look like that. I bought two, there were two in a pack. 
folding up nail file. Well, yours, well, maybe because I had the two ones, and I think it might be in that bucket. I just threw it over there. But, I want it for my pocketbook because I don't ever have a nail file when I Well, go I wanted one too, like that too, because I had the regular ones and it tears up the inside of the little, um, uh, Pack that old thing you stick in there, you stick all your stuff in the organizer and it keeps cutting it. So that's why I got mine too. But it's over there in that bucket, and I'm like, I gotta get that in my purse for it tears up more. Mm. Well, at least my throat sounds like it's starting to get a little bit better. Hopefully, by the time we get to the second package, we can actually have a real voice here. Please. Okay, so what is this? It looks like a little teddy bear. Oh, it is. <laughs> okay, you can open it up. I just that was that was 248. Now, I'm going to, I got to ask, did you know it was going to be this tiny? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> I have to know, because I I had a, while well, she's opening that, how much was 249 248 248 Should I open it? I actually well, I don't got know it. what you're doing it for. Oh, okay. I actually got it to go in our shoe box for church for our gift. Okay. So, we could do, and of course, we don't, we're never, it's I'm, Americans first, I'm right. never prepared, because I was going to bring the shoe box and show everybody. Uh -huh. I might do it on one of my pieces that I edited in here. We have this a shoe box. A, this is a teeny weeny little bear. And this is the first year that's actually like a plastic container, and everything I want to put in it don't fit. So, I'm like, yeah. what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So, we're it trying to figure out. a little card, and it, I, it go, I'm doing mine for a little girl, and it says, send You are? Sending you a bear hug. I am a little pocket bear. Squeeze me tight when feeling blue. I am here to give you strength and warmth that will help get you through. So is so it this is an older somebody. girl? Because that other thing would be to an nine, older girl. To none. Because I was going to do the, the three, to three to four, four, I mean the three to five year old girl. This could be for any age person. But that other thing you told me you were going to put in there, and I don't know if you're going to tell everybody. Well, a teenage girl then. Okay, that's cute. Okay, you do your Samaritan's Purse shoebox any way you want to. I'm sure they're going to love it. And I've got to get mine together. I've got to get it together. Okay, <laughs> I'm not, I'm curious. What the heck is this? I don't know either. It's something new. Guys, have you ever got something like this inside your... Um, what does it say? Is it a gift card? Ah! It says, I'm jealous. Credit coupon for your friends. Huh? Credit coupon for your friends. <gasps> Mama, I better get one of these. If I don't, I'm going to cry. Okay, it's got some stuff on the back, and we will look into this. I have no clue. It was just inside the bag. Let me know. Comments. And I'm saying comment in the comments if you got something like this. It says search code. And yes, Mama, you can look at it. I've never seen that before. Um, it says for all new team. Use that's stuff. okay because um i'm getting so if you, you don't whatever. need it <laughs> well, I, mean, it's for I have a 10 if i ever get I'm to ten thousand, i could probably give that to somebody but of course i'm not going to take it from you but you know what you know who could get that is um maybe somebody that you know at christmas that's never used to move and you can you know maybe give them to that can't you give the code out to people well we'll see I don't know. It's because, the first time I've ever seen something I'm not like a that. New user and you would think, being an affiliate, <laughs> that I would know something about it. Okay. All right. So I, I know you talked about this. So I'm gonna let you hold on to it. I love guys. Purple is one of my favorite colors. I love every shade of it. And you can tell them what this is and how much it is and all that. Because there's only yeah. one more item in here. In there. <laughs> um. I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness. This is a hot, hot, hot mess. I love powder it. Powder puff. I haven't had a powder puff in years. And it was, well, it was $1.19. It was 89 cents when I put it in my cart. But, but so, I wanted it. So did you get any price reductions on any of this stuff? Yeah, I got a dollar and something on total, but I don't know what ones it was on. Okay, so, so a lot of this stuff, guys, when you order it, um, mm -hmm. if you come in, we, we order it a week ago, probably. I don't know how long it took yours to come in. Mine took forever this time out on my order. And that's how we get the video out. It, so it can be discontinued or the prices mm -hmm. are changed. Um, but you do get the price reductions, so just kind of keep looking at that. And if it is a little bit more than what we tell you, um, or a lot less, grab it up. Okay. One more item. Actually, I'm not going to hold that to her. Her ring is in here. <laughs> She'll kill me. We're going to do that last. Okay, you got a big old box. I don't know. Um, 
that ring is in there. I saw it, so whatever hold it up. I was gonna see if I could this just. This is a one piece kitchen sink something. Is this something you're gonna have to build on? <laughs> and I saw somebody else with yeah. it, but they said it was $7 and something, but this one was three seventy eight. I have to do my face like that because my mom finds the best deals. I don't know, maybe it's because I don't, I haven't had a lot of time to just go and do like I used to do in the beginning. I would like go through and look for just the cheapest things I could find because I wanted to do a variety and I, I want to do some high dollar stuff, some medium dollar stuff. And I honestly have not bought a real lot of expensive things off Timu. That's something I want to ask you guys. What is the most that you spent on like one item? I mean, if it's been like 200, 300, have you done anything like that? Because I want to know. Um, I haven't got there yet. One day I might do it. Um, we shall see. But I can tell you right now, I already like this, but I don't I don't know if you said it was for the kitchen. Yeah. I'm thinking it's more like an office. No, I'm going to put it on my sink. In that because I have the thing you plug the sink with, a sponge or something else or whatever, even your soap bottle. Well, what's I'm this not sure. This a handle, but I don't know where it goes. I'm not telling you. I'm not the only one that drops stuff I'm in. I'm not I sure where so. the handle would go. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'll get it. I'll grab it. But it has, <laughs> when you put your bottles or anything up there, it does have the slant in where the water would. And I'm going to put it beside my sink, behind my sink, next to the faucet, and put everything in. When it drains, it can just drain down into the sink. So, yeah, that handle doesn't look it's kind of weird. Does it have a picture? No. Oh. No, I don't know. Oh, maybe it goes inside, probably. Oh, it goes on the outside. <laughs> That's the with your dish. I, yeah, I have to look at the picture every time. Oh, it's another one that holds your your cloth. You just hang your cloth off there. Okay. And that was $3 and some change? Yeah, the one that I saw it on, hers was $7 and something. I mean, this is nice. <laughs> I mean, they I have like some, it. They have some more that are, look... I mean, it's really sturdy, but they have some more that costs more, but the thing is not slanted. And if it's not slanted, the water doesn't drain. The only thing is, if, if it's metal like this and it's water, is that going to mess that up? I mean, I like it. I mean, I do. For, if I, I, don't know. If I can get it for $3, I'm going to grab it up. And I don't know about 7 I'll have to wait. Okay, so in this particular um, package, <laughs> oh, goodness. One last item, and I'm going to give this over to my mom because she's been waiting for three orders. How long? When was your first order? Probably a couple months oh, ago. It's been a while back when I first. So she's been it. waiting on this particular ring. So we got to model it. And now, how how much did? It, and then this is the best part. How much did you wind up physically paying for this, or did you get it for free at this point? <laughs> you gotta love Timo. You gotta it was love him. Big. I think it's gonna be that big. What size did you get? It says it's right a, here. It's a nine. Uh, yeah, so nine, she has a little package here. And we're going to put well, this one over here out of the way. It was 39 cents, but I did get a price adjustment, so it was 20 cents. <laughs> All right, let me see it. Woo, it's gorgeous. What's is that like? A falcon on the side? What is that on the side of it? I, I don't know if you can see it this far away. Um, we'll do like a little um, clip on it. Um, yeah, I think it's gorgeous. Um, I love it. <laughs> Um, can I try it on now? I usually, now I have been swelling up lately. Um, usually wear about an eight, but that went on as a little loose. So I've been getting like an eight as well. That is very pretty. Let me try on this other finger. Um, and sometimes like when I think I want a big one like this, it comes like that tiny. And then when I'm I think it's going to be small, big. it's gorgeous. I now, like it, but I think I would have liked it a little bit smaller. Ah! It's heavy. <laughs> For twenty cents, it's pretty twenty cents. It's it's wonderful, <laughs> and it's beautiful for costume jewelry, and it's going to be beautiful at, if you're if you wear it around Christmas time. I think it's going to be real good. Okay, so <clears throat> real quick, where are we at on time? Oh my god, this is it's twenty minutes already. When did the thing? So on this particular order, what was your total? I just want to let everybody know what the good deals she gets, because I don't even think you spend twenty, thirty, forty bucks, and but she gets the best stuff. For on cheap, I mean, it's so inexpensive. I, I can't believe it. Uh, it don't tell you on like a like a total. Not on. Well, you this, don't have to tell me. This but is from. A, it's, I never hardly ever spent over thirty thirty five dollars at the most. And this was probably twenty nine to thirty three dollars. Because even though we always see on here buying stuff from Timu, um, we are on a budget. You know, we don't just go willy nilly and like, oh, I got it like that. I'm gonna buy everything off Timu. I'm always looking for the best deals. And lately, 
uh, unless it's just something I, I just gotta figure out what it is. I'm buying things I need and I'm getting ready to buy Christmas. Most everything coming out is gonna be Christmas. I don't know what you're gonna be getting next, but we got the second package. So this one was probably, what you said, about 30 bucks or so, something like that. She's already got a couple of price adjustments because she told me about it. Um, finally got the ring. Thank goodness for that, hallelujah. And what was so funny is I wanted to show you, but I cut the bag. There was a little hole in it, like the size, like the where the thing could have probably fell out and that might've been what happened. Or maybe it fell out in customs and they didn't see it. Because guys, if you don't dump that bag out, there's little bitty things in the bottom of it. And I'm sure you, you veteran Timu shoppers know. Okay, you ready for <clears throat> this next one? And I hope my voice can make it through here. And I hope it gets better before Halloween because my goodness. And I think last year, wasn't it freezing cold here in Georgia? This year, I mean, I literally have the air conditioner blazing because it's so hot. And I don't know if that has something to do with it. I have no clue, but I'm, some people are telling me it's because I'm, I have too much um, chemically things like scents and things like that, the candles and stuff. I really don't. Um, I do have a few of that, but I think it's because I've been doing outside yard work and it's just got to me, I don't know, this year really bad. Okay, let's do this next one and wrap up this Timu haul. Now, do you know the total of this one at all? Okay. No, because I couldn't get on the app from my iPad and the email that shows everything doesn't, it just gives the price of each item, not a total. Okay, so. Oh, wait, no, this one was 3501. So you did find on that $35? On, on this one, $35. Okay, so we got $35 in this bag. And <clears throat> the last order I made came in four different shipments, and it actually made me late to do my own videos. <clears throat> Goodness, and I tried to do them in order, but literally four different shipments from one was in UPS, one was on, something called OnTrack, one was FedEx, and one was USP, U, the Postal Service. I had four different no. shipments from four different um, providers, and I'm like, okay. And I didn't really order anything One special. of the items was supposed to have been sent separately, so I'm not sure if they should have. Okay, okay so I'm just gonna hand you your stuff and after I look at it real quick, um, and let you talk about it, so that way it'll help my voice kind of not talk crazy. Okay. Um, as she's doing that, I wanted to tell you that I did get these little um, Halloween earrings, little witch earrings for 39 cents. Um, I'm, it came in one of my shipments that I'm going to do a uh, bigger haul in, but I wanted to put them on because I wasn't sure if I was going to get that out before Halloween, and I wanted to show you that. So what do you got right here? I, I'm curious. It just says one piece kitchen gadget for 68 cents. It's just like a little Is it a slotted, slotted spoon, spoon okay. that has strainer, and it also has slots. And how much was it again? 68 cents. That's pretty sturdy. It, well, that's what, I was, that was what I was about to ask. So some of the stuff, it's, it's not silicone. Is. It's more like a hard plastic. Yeah, this is definitely plastic. I got a ladle like that. This is nice. I like that color, too. It's almost like a coral color. Okay. that That's pretty good. Random, I think, so. All right. Um, ah. Gloves. Yeah. So these I have in my cart as well. I got them in every color under the sun and still haven't gotten them. So you'll be seeing this thing for me. Two pair of gloves. Okay. Well, let's open up this one for everybody first. And um, I, I don't, I, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in here, and I just don't want it to ever end. But one of them was supposed to be shipped separately, a tiny thing, so it may not be in there. I didn't check the the, the mailbox today either. Well, it wouldn't come today anyway. It would come because it says Sunday. Um, no, I was just going to start pulling out stuff, but I wanted to see. Those look awful long. These are the one pair women's long knit gloves. Did you want them like that? Yes. I okay. Yeah, but I, because I didn't, mine under, are not long. I know mine are short. Under, I love all the long ones. It can go up under your coat sleeve or something like that when you wear them. Because okay. I always hated you short gloves. Up where they can see it's long. I mean, it's almost like the real. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here, there's my elbow. Okay. And I've seen and those fingers. before. I, I just, love the ones with the knot with the fingers. I just don't like my fingers closed. Well, if you if you don't get them with the little um, patches on it, you can't use your phone unless you're using a pen, um, you know, a, a, with a little um, touch thingy on it. So I don't I don't think so. But I, I guess were, I didn't realize they were that long. They were okay. actually two sixty nine. But not bad, not bad. Yeah. You can't buy gloves at anywhere unless you maybe go to the Dollar Tree. You're not going to get good ones. So that probably, well, I'm not saying you won't get good ones, but they're not like that. Those kinds. Okay, so here's <laughs> how many of these. 
<laughs> you go crazy with these things, but I like it. It's it a Timo color. It was 67 cents, and I think it was a It's random. a mouse pad for 67 cents, and, and did you did you pick that color, or was it a random color that they sent to you? Or I think it was the only one. Well, it's kind of fancy, but it has the little has the little pad on it for you to. Oh my gosh, it's, it looks exactly like the color of your shirt. And it is a Timo color. Oh, that, that does feel good though. Let me try it. So it's like, oh, it's okay. So this is really jelly. I, don't, I know you can't. It's the ergo This little piece. Ergo, ergonomic wrist mouse pad. Now this is a, you know, a little. 67 cents. But honestly, do you really need this to be really that thick? And you know, the mouse, my mind, my mouse gets real finicky, but this is actually, this is really this little piece right here, which you can't really tell because it's orange. Feels pretty good. And how much is 67 cents? That's not, that's not bad at all. I'm telling you, some of this stuff, um, you have to just try it out. You just have to try it out and see. Okay, um, you said you had another glove. I don't know what this is, or did you have another? Oh, that's one of those heel socks. Oh, you're gonna love these. Two-piece moisturizing silicone. You are gonna love these. I gotta these. Get on my next order. So, <laughs> I, my, I think it was when I first found out about Timo, Remember, I used to complain about my heels. Well, mine are getting really rough since we haven't pedicured. Really rough. I, I'm telling you, and I did a whole Timu Tuesday on my heels. Showed the world how ugh, gross they are, and I have to do a follow up because they don't look as bad this year. Um, now I don't. I haven't used them in a while. I'm sorry, I didn't want to. Um, in a while because my I've been having the foot thingy, the pain on my foot, so I haven't been putting anything on it. Um, but when I do go back to putting it on there, it actually, I know they're, you're going to love them. They have that gel thing and that goes inside, you know, you're going to turn that inside. It's going to be like right on your heel. And I swear by them. I, I bought probably two pairs after that first pair because after you use them a while, um, I didn't wash them. I actually, mine, because I was walking on a bare floor with them you put any, <laughs> without house shoes. You put any cream on them with it or just this? Now, I did do that CeraVe. Remember when I went okay. to the store and bought that CeraVe? But after I did that a week, um, I didn't do it anymore. And my heels, I'm gonna, have, I won't do it in this video, but I'm gonna do a follow up on them. I love them. And how much did you pay for these? Like six, it was under a dollar, wasn't it? 89 cents. 89 cents. Guys, if you have issues with your heels being, um, you know, rough and tough, those heel socks, and we will put these descriptions in the description box. Always look at the description boxes because I give all kinds of goodies. I talk about my code. Um, if you're a new user, um, FAV22452, I'll put it in there. Um, this right here, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm gonna hope in my shipment I get something like this. If not, I'm calling them and asking like, hey, can I get this? If not, you may be seeing something like this in a code on the up here around there or in the description box. Just saying. Okay, what's next? Okay. All right. It oh. is a accounting <laughs> ledger book. Now, it was 521. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I'm a notebook girl. I have notebooks for everything, Donna. I mean, I have calendars. I have notebooks. I have planners. I love to write everything down. No, I don't know if I'm going to lie this or not. But I go through those little things that come with your checkbook like crazy. I just spend a lot of money and don't put that. But it, it's a bank ledger. We'll put it up there where they can see it. Because I can tell right now. You know, where you, like you leave I need checks, something like that. Like but. And the banks don't really want to give you any more. I mean, where I go, she gives me two or three at a time and all. But yeah. So, is it just to keep up with your bills every month or no, every week? No, it's where you write your checks down. Just like you do in that oh, little checkbook. I thought it was thing. like you were to keep no, up with your, your payments. Oh. It's your check. Check number, date. And all what does the front say again? It's an account ledger. So, an account ledger, and how much was it? It was... 521. I debated on getting it, but is it worth five dollars? No, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't know. It's nice, but it is nice. It was, well, I don't, I carry the other one around in my pocketbook, and I don't really need to because I don't have a checkbook. No, I mean, I use, I use my debit card, I don't have checks. With my and this account. is what it looks like on the inside. It's no, it, it actually is not bad, I mean, but I, I just, just leave don't... it by my computer or whatever. No, uh, you know, we buy I things. I never look at the other one until I balance my checkbook. Yeah, we buy things that we need for what we want it to be. So you do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, me, I, I use notebook paper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not even going to lie. I mean, I debate. I don't even like to think about balancing the checkbook. Because you can actually buy the little check registers on there. 
hole there, but I don't want to pick one. Okay, so I have a feeling that this is that other pair of our gloves. Yeah, this, <clears throat> this one is. So they told you a story. They did not ship it separately. <laughs> No, there's something in this. There's a small thing, not the glove. Oh, oh okay. I thought you meant those ones. Okay. Well, they would put it in the mailbox if it was real small. The guys are getting down to the last little bit of this bag, so. Oh, it shouldn't be. Unless they sipped them a whole lot separately. Those look like socks. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can I hold this one? Okay, where are the hands? Okay, there's a hole right here. If you can see that, I know you can't because it's dark. I'm gonna use some more long ones. Is this is, this one's weird? It feels like it's they just it looks like it's a sock that they just put a hole in the bottom of it and cut the feet out. knitted glove, a dollar thirty four. Um, a dollar thirty. I like them. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, well, you know what? Um. It is what it is. I like the gray pair better. I just thought they looked more like gloves. But you know, if you're sitting around freezing like you're always cold, you can throw, throw the things on there probably real comfortable and you can still work and do your things, okay? So let's see what. Okay, there's there's two or three more oh, things in here. I've got there. I've just been pulling out things as random. Okay, what is this? So I'm just gonna hand it to you. Um, yes, I try to look at everything before I give it to her, but it's her stuff and I'm glad that you're, you're gonna be showing it. Um, so you're like me too. I get some stuff. I get my order and I'm like, what, I, what is this? And it's like, oh, it's that. Oh, that's that neck thingy. Neck thingy. Yeah, you put it around your neck. It's like a scarf. Oh. And it has a snap somewhere on there. Yeah, I see my the neck is always cold at work because I sit under the dang air conditioner, and I always have shirts on that come down. Now, when you did, when you said you got that one, said so the one I got was like a fake, a fake fur. A faux fur that's Solid like a color bean. snap thing. It's like that. Okay, you can show it to me. And it's a dollar ninety seven. And it does have the little snaps. Do you want to show them the picture of that up there? I don't because I don't know if it, they can even see it. But yeah, the snaps are right here and it goes like in a little V. I don't know if you can see the picture. Yeah, I can see it. And how much was it again? A dollar ninety seven. So I have that black one that I swirl around. This might be something I need to look into for this material. And yeah, they have different styles. I just saw them put it snaps on you. You don't have to put it all over your head. Because like I said, the ones that I saw were like kind of fancy like you'd wear. And even if you got a sweater on or fancy. something without anything on your head, you just throw it around. But this material is actually pretty, um, you know, like every day. It's almost like a fleece. And for under $2, um, I might have to look into that. So I gotta make me another list and put all this stuff in my cart. Okay, we're getting down to, I think, the last two items. All right, we'll do this one. Um, I think that's my sweater. Oh. So I have not, that's one thing I have not purchased off of Timu yet either is a sweater. I've never bought an actual sweater. I, I'm looking at them. I've been. It's 1248. Oh, you know what? It's got, oh, I like it. It's got a design in it. So I'm looking at a, like a maybe a little bit of a bigger one, but I don't mind to but, to um, like have buttons. And the ones I've been looking at, literally open up, but they don't button. And I know they got this, them in a button. This one doesn't button either. Pull yeah, around, I'll pull around. And this one has that real good design in it. Oh, it is very thick. And how much was this? I like the design. It was Twelve forty-eight. Well, honestly, that's not bad. I pay like at Dee's like eight or nine bucks for the real thin one that I have. And this one goes all the way down. I, I can tell it's gonna go down to your knees. Um, if I can get a picture of her with it on, I might pop it in there if she don't mind. We will see, but that's what, the next thing I'm looking at is winter stuff. I wanna get a, I have, I went through all my winter stuff and I've got a ton of sweatshirts, don't need no more, but I don't have any, um, well, I do have a ton of sweaters too, but well, I won't off a team. All my check sweaters out. are old and ratty looking, and they're just. And you never can go wrong ugly. with a, a nice black sweater. Yeah. I mean, that's just my opinion. Okay, last. Two more things. Two more the, things. The other thing is what ships separately. So. Okay, so this is the last thing in this um, thing, and if um, when I do my editing, if that one comes in the mailbox, I'll throw that in. I'll just throw it in there. Okay, this looks like something you have to cut. There's a scissors right there. And that's the last oh, thing. Oh my gosh, it's over. There's done. 
I can't believe it. I hope this is what I want it to be. So while she's doing that, guys, I hope everybody is enjoying our um, hot mess of a haul. And you know, I say that to be fun. Um, we never script this. It literally as we get on here and what happens, happens. Um, we're not trying to <laughs> do anything but make you guys happy because we're happy. Timu makes us happy, don't they? And I know it makes my mom happy because she'll say, I did an order. And I'm like, okay. So she has waited. This is two orders. So she's waited over a week to open these up because I couldn't talk, couldn't didn't have a voice. And I'm so grateful of that, Mama, so much. So okay. what is this? I wanted it to be bigger, but it's plenty big for what it's for. Now, is okay, so it says bathroom, but turn it around on the back because does this mean it's going to stick? It's so grippy. Okay. So... The mat she has in there now, I can tell you, I was going to tell you get them grippy things, but if you got this to go in there, because they slide. So one thing about Timu, if you get the ones, make sure they got it's the a, backing, because if not... It's supposed to be a quick dry bath mat. I like this. And it's kind of soft. And it's, yeah. how big did you want it? Is this well, No, you, I just thought, well, you know, the shower? pictures, they, yeah, yeah, just in front of the shower. And that's plenty, that's the size that needs to go there. Okay. And I really do like the way it's got that design on the back, and it's going to grip. Because um, I have one, too, that, that slides all over the place and drives me nuts. Yeah, somebody, but I like it. Somebody gets out of the shower and they're always dripping. <laughs> oh, my son. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We always buy stuff dripping. always. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, um, everything except that one little dollar ninety-seven item. Okay, so it's one item not here. We got the ring in the other item, uh, other package, so that's good. And I appreciate you holding on to this so I got my voice somewhat back. And I'm so glad that I got it out during the Halloween time because I wanted to get some more videos out um, showing you some of the Timu decorations. So if you're still here, hang on. Uh, I'm hoping to get a video stuck into here with my recipe on a little um, Oreo pie that I told you guys I was going to do. That will definitely be here towards the end right now. Um, and I may even be adding some more stuff. I don't know. We shall see. But with that said, um, we've done another one. And I love it. So happy Halloween. Um, if you celebrate that or happy following, whatever you're doing. Um, there's so many things going on. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And it sure will be some surprises. Okay? See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay, if you hung out to the end of this Atima haul, I am now going to show you the recipe for my Oreo pie. Now, I have been making this recipe, I know, a good 10, 15 years. Best recipe I ever have found because for number one, it only has three ingredients. Number two, it's inexpensive. And number three, it is fast. Now, you don't have to just do it for um, Halloween or fall, you can do it at any time, any season. You can do it for weddings, baby showers, um, potluck, um, you know, Christmas dinners, it doesn't matter. Um, you do it whatever you wanna do it because I guarantee you, um, if you just need a quick, quick recipe to feed people that they're actually going to love and clean up the plate, stay tuned for this. Okay, so I got some um, things together and some ingredients. So I'm gonna show you what the ingredients are right off the bat. So number one, you do need to get a package of Oreos. Now, I particularly got the name brand Oreos because I wanted to have um, the color orange in it, um, you know, for fall, Halloween. Um, so you don't necessarily have to have the name brand Oreo. If you wanna get the um, store brand one, I've done that many times over the years. It tastes the same. Um, a lot of times people just want to do the regular black and white Oreos. But guys, I have done green and um, the green um, icing. I have done the yellow icing. I have done the red icing. <laughs> I have done all kinds of icings um, on these Oreo pies. But you do need to get you a package of Oreo cookies. Um, now, I'm not going to use all these because I'm actually not making a big crowd one. I'm making one for just me and a couple of people in my house. Um, so, I'm using this smaller little pan that I got from Dollar Tree. So, I'll probably use more, about half of this package. But if you're doing it for 5, 10, 15 people, um, you want to use the whole package. If you're doing it for more than that, I would get the family size package, okay? So, you, this is the first ingredients is some Oreo cookies. The next ingredients is you need to get some milk. I prefer whole milk, and I just poured it into this little container. Um, and you do need to have it where you can actually open it up 
and it needs to be, you know, pretty well. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute because we're gonna be dunking these cookies inside this milk. So you have to have some milk. And then the last ingredients here um, that I have is some Cool Whip, okay? So I only bought one tub of the Cool Whip. Um, if you're doing a big one, you'll need at least about three of this size, which is I think eight ounces, um, or the, the big ones that are like 16 ounces a piece. Um, maybe two of those. It just depends on how you want to go out and, and do it. And I also went ahead and took a few Oreo cookies and I'm um, crumbled them up for the top. Um, I'm not going to go all out, but if I was doing something fancy, I would make it a little bit better and make it more. Um, maybe put some chocolate syrup on it and some other things. But this is just for me and my family um, for, you know, Halloween day. It's only about four of us going to be eating out of it. Um, and yeah. So first of all, if you are watching and you're listening to me, bless your hearts because my voice sounds, I just feel like it sounds horrible. And I don't wanna, I'm not gonna keep harping on that. I'm going to keep talking because if I don't keep talking, my voice is never gonna come back. But I do wanna tell you that I did throw my hair up in a ponytail because for two things, I need a haircut. Um, but the second reason is I'm using, I'm keeping my hair long because I'm going to be doing another dress up for an error of the 1980s and I wanted to have my hair longer so I could make it bigger. So as soon as that video is over, I'm going to get my hair cut, I think. But I wanted to pull it up because when I do make these dishes, I don't want hair in my, my food. Um, that happened to me one time a long time ago and I was mortified. So I always pull my hair up, I spray it, and I actually used a Timo gadget, which of course is so across the room, that I'm gonna do on my Timo Tuesday where I put it in my hair and kind of pulled it up. And this is my infamous <laughs> ponytail. So if you haven't never seen it, yeah, and I got my little witch's um, earrings from Timu and my Haunted Mansion t-shirt on that I just did in the Timu Hall. And behind me, I have a couple of things from Timu as well. And I will talk about those on my Timu Tuesday that's going to come out, hopefully on Halloween. And hopefully my voice will be better. Okay, with that said, so we got three ingredients. Easiest thing you ever do. So you get your uh, um, container. Um, I preferably like the containers with the lid. It doesn't have to be one like this. It could be any container with a lid because you want to put it on and put it in the refrigerator to chill. Um, so I got a small one here. Uh, I love this little design. It kind of reminds me of the Haunted Mansion. Um, I did clean it out with another um, paper towel, but I always just want to make sure it's clean. Um, and we're going to do this. So basically you're going to start off with your pan and I'm going to have to hold it up. I might push it down and move me out of it. Matter of fact, that's what I am going to do because I want you to kind of see what I'm doing here. And that way we won't be kind of looking at me because you don't have to necessarily see me. Um, but let me take a little sip of water. I kind of was staging everything here as best I could so I could get everything on here. So I'm going to move this down a little bit here. I think that'll work. Okay. Let me move all this back. So I don't want to spill anything. My water there. My candy dishes. Okay. So let's talk about the milk. Let me kind of put this back a little bit here and see if you can see it. Okay. So we have the Oreo cookies and you open them up. Now there is the orange Oreo cookies. And again, you can use, um, the ones you want to, but these actually have like little sayings on it. They all say boo. Let me see what this one. Oh, this one has like a spider web on it and boo, okay? It's taking me everything in my power not to eat one of these right now. Dare to dunk, which we're about to do. Let's just start off with the dare to dunk one. Okay, so you have your pan, and I'm gonna try and just stick these here and put the pan up here. Um, I got my little table thing, so let's just put these cookies here, put the pan here, and you're going to take the cookie, and literally, um, you just take this little pan, and I mean, when I say this is the easiest thing, it's the easiest thing, okay? So you start to duck it, and I don't leave it in there very long. The longer you leave it in there, the softer it's going to get, the more moisture it's going to get. My hands are clean. Um, I do have some little um, things from Timo as well. I'm going to talk about them on Tuesday on my fingers, um, but my nails do need to be redone. So after you duck it a little bit, you're gonna just layer it. And yes, I, that's why I brought my, my handy dandy Dollar Tree um, thing, because in case you're a mess like I am, and you just keep doing it. You're gonna keep dunking them. And as I'm doing this, I just wanna talk to you guys. Um, comment um, and tell me what kind of recipes you do 
for Halloween um, because um, I do use, usually when I do a big full blown party, I will come up with about six different recipes, three savory and three sweet. Um, yeah, sweet, yeah, three sweet. But this year, um, like I said, I'm not doing a whole lot. And I only decided to do this because um, I really wanted these. I've been, I, it's just like one of those, my favorite things to have. I haven't had it in a while and I've been wanting to show you how to do it. And as you see, I'm just kind of layering it down in here, right? Um, just dipping in the, the, the milk and I'm just layering it. So as I'm doing that, I was just saying, you know, let me know some recipes that you do. Um, I do know that we're gonna have for my little get together, um, cause it's only like gonna be maybe five, four, uh, four people for sure, but maybe five. And we're gonna have shrimp cocktails. We're going to have um, pigs in the blankets, um, which is just, you know, little uh, cocktail sausages with the, uh, I'm gonna use buttermilk biscuits, the, the um, ones from the can for time purposes. Um, so we're going to have pig in the blankets and I'm going to do my rotel dip, which basically I if you watch my Aldi haul, I might link it into this one. I'm not quite sure, but if you go, go look at my playlist, um, um, I bought some, the cheese in the rotel dip. I'm going to make that with sausage. And what else did I say we were going to have? Um, and I'm going to have this Oreo pie and we definitely have cookies. And I think that's pretty much all we're going to have. Oh no, no. There was one other thing. It is the, um, spicy onion rings and I'll probably make them right at the beginning of the get together because I've just been wanting them and when I saw them at Aldi I said oh yeah I'm definitely going to get these because I just want them and I'm probably going to put them in the deep fryer so they'll be real crispy and real yummy so once you get I'm about almost done with this part and you kind of just see how I'm layering it and I said I wasn't going to use all these cookies but <laughs> we might um but because you need to have well I'm, I think I'm only going to do one layer Normally when I do a big one, which is a you know about three times longer than this pan, um, I usually do two layers of Oreos. But this one I think I'm just going to do one because like I said, it's just for a, a few people and I know it's going to be just as good with just this one layer. And then I can save some of these cookies um, to put out, um, you know, just to put out on the table as well for other people to snack on. Uh, so I think I need one more. Uh, no, I need two more. So yes, I, I'm, I finally am getting this video done. I tried to do this last year on um, Christmas time because I had these little Christmas containers that I was going to do an individual Oreo one. And from the Dollar Tree, I got these little small Oreo cookies. But guys, um, those Oreo cookies, they were like little mini ones. Um, they were the store brand. I don't even remember the name of them. They were not good. I'm not even going to lie. When I just tasted it, I said, I don't even want to make an Oreo pie on this. Um, they were not good. I'm just saying. So, got your layer, okay, in your pan. And you're done with your milk. And see, I don't get rid of this milk. I actually just, you know, will drink it. I'll put it in some cereal and drink this after it's been my finger in it anyway. So, you do whatever. And you don't necessarily have to have that much milk. But if you're dunking, you know, you got to have something to dunk it in. And I got these little... Um, Cook these little bowls and things like this from Walmart. They were 50 cents a piece. Um, you had the cup and the bowl and the little platter. And I just thought that was just so cute. And they had them in purple as well, but they didn't have all three pieces in purple. So I just got the, um, the orange one. So the next step is this. You're gonna open up your container and you wanna make sure your Cool Whip is um, soft. So make sure it's been sitting out because if it's not soft, um, it will not work. It will be very hard to layer this on there, okay? Let me pull this up just a little bit. Okay, and you're going to basically just dump the um, Cool Whip on top. And I only have one, and like I said, I'm only making this for one, I mean, for about three, I say three to four people for sure, um, maybe a fifth person because I'm not doing a big party this year, um, you know, like I usually do. Um, and it's because, I'm, like I said, it's not because of any other reason is that I just have a lot of projects going on and there just wasn't the time to do it and I didn't want to have to take it all down when they were messing with stuff around my house. And I just decided, you know, I'll do more for fall and definitely for Christmas. Hopefully by Christmas, um, I'll have it together and, you know, can do that. So I'm going to use this entire um, 
entire container of its eight ounces, isn't it? Yeah, eight ounces of Cool Whip. And again, if you want more and you like more Cool Whip, that's up to you. You don't have to have it a lot. Um, like I said, it's just simple. It's, it's the simplest thing and people rave over it. I, there's never none left over. Um, if I don't, if I want any, I have to get it right away when I first get somewhere to the wherever event I'm taking it to or party or if I have it at the house because otherwise it will be gone. And it's just basically going to be put in the refrigerator. Um, I will probably leave this in there. For, I always try to do it a couple of hours if I'm on the, you know, I have to do it real quick. Sometimes I leave it overnight if I know I'm going to take a, a lot and just make sure it settles. And you got it on there and I just want to just eat this right here on camera. And I am going to use my finger, but it's clean. Okay. All right. And I did do it. Okay. So that's the bowl. And then remember I told you I took some, I took like three cookies and I just mashed, you know, I used a, um, a bottle and I rolled it. And now I'm just going to sprinkle a couple of these on here. How did I get there on that big piece? Mm. And you just kind of sprinkle on, and you can de decorate this. Especially, I used to do all kinds of things with gummies and gummy worms and other things, or I'd put Oreo cookies around it. And I could do that with the rest of these, but I don't know if I'm going to do. I probably won't for this one. But I'm just going to garnish it. And you can do it one or two ways. If you want to take the icing out of the cookie, um, I didn't do it for this one. I don't know why. So it's not as fine. But if you, and, I did, and it's, you know, it's not to be pretty. It's basically just to look like a hot mess anyway, because it's for Halloween. And yeah, you have that. And thank goodness I brought this uh, thing. And then you just kind of have your little thing and you can know how to do whatever you want. So I know it's all over the place there. But now the next step is I'm going to put the lid on it and literally put it into the um, refrigerator for probably about an hour or two so I can bring it back out and show you. So I will see you guys back in a hot minute, okay? See ya. Okay, I'm back to show you the final product of my Oreo pie. I'm going to just be taking a little bit of it because officially I'm trying to get this video out um, Sunday or Monday before Halloween. This is going to be eaten on Halloween day, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of a dip of it, put it in a little bit of um, one of these little bowls, little uh, styrofoam bowls, and I'm just gonna take a little corner of it because I kind of want you to see how it looks when I cut it out. And it kind of is already melted inside there. You know, you can't see it, but you'll see it when I take a bite of it. And it kind of, you know, just dissolves. Now it's been in the refrigerator probably about, I'd say two and a half, three hours now. And if you can see where it's already there and it just kind of is real soft and it just kind of mushes down, that's what's gonna happen. The longer it stays in the refrigerator, the longer it stays. That's why you do the milk. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait. So here we go. Mm. Oh yeah. Very, very good. The Cool Whip just does so much to it. And like I said, the longer it sits in the refrigerator, the softer it's gonna get, but I happen to like it in a little, where I can crunch it a little bit. Mm-hmm. This is absolutely delicious, guys. So yes. Mm. I am just in heaven. So guys, I have finally got my Oreo pie for you guys. You definitely need to try it out. You may already make something similar to this. You may make something, there's different, you know, versions, but this is my simple, easy peasy version of an Oreo pie. This one happens to just have the orange. So when you cut into it, it's gonna have the orange look into it for Halloween. So I'm very proud of it and I'm so glad to have it done. And with that said, I'm going to end this video. And stay tuned for some more fun videos to come. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to my 10,000. I'm not far, but it's like TikTok, TikTok. So if you know anyone, and if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Help me get to my 10,000. And if you know anybody that, that's interested in this kind of stuff, these kind of videos, send them my way. 
And with that said, guys, thank you from the bottom of my heart for every person that supports me. And I love you guys. Happy Halloween. Bye. Whoops.